nerds, welcome to Jared Berry Acts. Today we're going to react to Supernatural, oh, Season 2, Episode 3 of Supernatural, entitled Bloodlust. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content if there's a day there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Whew, long-winded. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. We're going to get into this last episode. Uh, you know, we, we, we met, oh my goodness, I forgot her name, Ellen. Ellen and Joe. And they would try to offer them a place to stay. And we see that Sam and Dean are both processing and grieving their father in different ways. I'm still, I feel weird about John being dead. I just, something about it is just, it does not compute. I don't know. It just feels so out of place. But regardless, we'll take it in stride. I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes. Let's just get into episode three, shall we? Peep it out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening. Make sure my subtitles are on, first of all. All right. Where's my money, baby? Oh, I'm running in the woods, you fucking trip and fall over. What is this, the opening to scream? I like the dramatic music. That shoulder shuffling music. I'm gonna hide behind this tree. There's no way he saw me. Ran right past me. I'm gonna... You can even look, to, like, oh, listen to the shit around you, the leaves. You're about to put a hand around your mouth, huh? Wait for it. What are you doing with your hand? Don't touch the moss on the tree. Decapitation! Supernatural! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, distinguished guests, all the same. The legend of the Hookman. The fuck was that? Cut her head off? I, this, this, you know, I don't know. I've never had my head cut off. But there's apparently like seven seconds of brain activity after your head's cut off. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. Those seven seconds right there, imagine your shit's cut off. Yeah, obviously you can't talk at that point. You can still move your eyes or something, and you're just like... Obviously I can't move my fucking head, but... And that's it. That'd be wild. If I ever do get decapitated, I hope it's by a big, strong man that's going to tie me to his hip. And that sounds very provocative and dirty, but I'm referencing God of War and be becoming Mimir at that point. Just not as smart, I guess. All right, whatever. Now it sounds dirty. Ooh, we got the baby mobile back up and rolling. Look at that mother, brother, mother, lover after he beat the fucking living shit out of it with a damn golf club. It's back. Look at my man's mustache. Cuckoo, kachoo, my man got that Wilford Brimley. Man. I know he loves sandwiches. That's a common thing for me to say, but I feel like my man really loves. You know what? I bet he go for a Dagwood. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I bet you take him out to a ballpark, he's going to go get himself a bratwurst. And share with the press. Sure, sure. Time. We understand that, but just for the record. Those cows aren't being mutilated. You want to know how I know? How? how? Because there's no such thing as cattle mutilation. Cow drops, leave it in the sun. Within 48 hours, the bloat will split it open so clean it's just about surgical. The bodily fluids fall down into the ground, get soaked up, because that's what gravity does. But, hey, it could be Satan. What newspaper do you say you work for? <clears throat> World Weekly News. Weekly World News. World Weekly World News. World. I'm new. <laughs> Get out of my office. Yes, sir. Punch buggy. Who's in there? Yeah, reverse pinnacle on the forehead. Yeah. Right on the top of your shits in the third eye. Crap happens in Florida. Florida man. This is from 2006. Florida man's been around for all the. Yeah, if there's anything that's ever going to be eternal, Florida man. Florida's a weird fucking place. All right, open it. You open it. Wuss. 
They got the head in a fucking tub between their legs? I guess that's just good storage. I bet that smells beautiful. No, well, no pentagram. Then again, if they already got the fluids and shit in them, it probably is not no smell, right? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, poor girl. Maybe we should, uh... Can you give me a bucket? Find something? No, I'm gonna puke. Yeah, please don't puke on the dead girl. Wait, lift her lip up again? What? You want me to throw no, up? No, 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 I think I saw something, right? The... It's her teeth? Some gums? What is that, a hole? It's a tooth. Sam, that's a fang. A fang? Are you a vampire? Retractable set of vampire fangs. You gotta be kidding me. Well, this changes things. I thought that was fucking pus for a second. I was gonna throw up. Weird Wait, focus on Buddy in the back. What can I get for you? Two beers, please. I'm not even gonna lie. This dude just looks like a fucking vampire. Is that weird? What is it? Holy, as soon as they showed him, like, that dude's a vampire, right? We've been in here a lot. Drinkers. Got that look. Noisy. They did put focus on him, too, as they walk past, as they're doing right now. He's gone. It's like, I've seen him in something before. I'm gonna look it up after the show. Oh, I've seen you in something, brother. Oh my god. I can like almost visualize it, but not almost visualize it. What the fuck? Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy until this shit's over with. This else. I'm not a vampire. Yeah, that's right. I heard you guys in there. We didn't know about vampires. How to kill them. Man, you that's look like a vampire. Me. That knife's making me itch. Silver? You wolf? Ooh. Easy there, Chachi. Nothing but some good gums. See? Fangless. Happy? No. The one vampire we saw, though, they didn't just have fangs that came down. Their whole fucking mouth twisted and turned. Hmm. Meh, see? Meh. I gotta look it up right now. I'm sorry. Like, I can, I can see him in a scene. Sterling Brown. He's in Jobu. In Jobu. From fucking Black Panther. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. He's in Jobu from Black Panther. I can, it all makes perfect sense now. Even the way he speaks and he was in that Predator, like weird reboot thing they did. Yeah, yeah. I remember him from both of those movies. <sighs> that shit was starting to stress me out. All right, anyways. But go it alone type of guy. Well, man, I've been itching for a hunt. Sorry. But hey, I hear there's a chupacabra two states over. If you did watch Black Panther, Njobu was, uh, was Eric slash Killmonger's father. Uh, opening scene, the whole movie. He's right there. Go ahead ah, and such a good out. movie. Somebody just took a deuce in the water. Why the fuck did that do that the same time my damn computer finished rendering a video? Oh! Hello again, friend of a friend. Shaky cam. Ah, watch out for the shit spinning behind you, brother. Y'all didn't want to talk to him or nothing. We just was going to kill him. Hey, Dean, that was chaotic. I'm not going to lie to you. So, uh, I guess I got to buy you that drink. Yeah. Yeah, now seems like the appropriate time. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Sam's concerned about that. Yeah, you, you went a little... You went a little extra. Yeah. No, no, cut my friend. Hell yeah, he did. That was beautiful. 
something I said? No, no, he just gets that way sometimes. Tell you what, match quarters for the next round. I thought the car would shake, rattling and rolling just for a second. I thought my man done found somebody to hook up with that was at. Hold up now, brother. You didn't lock a door when you came in. Isn't that so, adorable? I pick up this crossbow, and I hit that ugly sucker with a silver-tipped arrow right in his heart. First time I saw a vampire, I was barely 18, home alone with my sister. I hear the window break in her room. I grab my dad's gun, run in, try to get it off her. Too late. He already ripped her ass? So I shoot the damn thing. Oh, no. Which, of course, is about as useful as snapping it with a rubber band. It oh, no. Me, picks me up, flings me across the room, knocks me out cold. And when I wake up, the vampire's gone. My sister's gone. It's just you. Then, then try explaining that one to your family. Ooh. So I left home. And then bummed around looking for information. How you track them, how you kill them. And I found that thing. It was my first kill. Hip hip. I am mad at your brother. Sorry about your sister. Yeah. She was beautiful. I can still see her, you know? The way she was. Mm hmm. You ask him, sweetie. Well, we ran into him on a job and we're kind of working with him, I guess. I don't do that, Sam. Uh, what's the reason? You said he was a good hunter. And Hannibal Lecter's a good psychiatrist. <laughs> Look, he is dangerous to everyone and everything around him. If he's working on a job, you boys just let him handle it and you move on. Ellen, no, uh, Sam, you just listen to what I'm telling you, okay? Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. You know why I love this life? Hmm. It's all black and white. There's no maybe. You find the bad thing. You're talking so loud in a bar that sounds empty. You're like, hey, sometimes you just gotta kill some shit. Ain't that right, bartender? Okay. Sometimes you gotta kill it. You get it. Kill it. See, most people. Oh, shit. Motherfucker done. Jumped on you like a fucking spider monkey, brother. Try to put you in a chokehold. Oh, damn. Walk him, walk him. And you got hit in the head with the back of a telephone. Is this not the same bridge we were on in episode, like, one? Maybe? Season one, episode one? They got ran off? The guy also looks familiar. A lot of goatees in this show. Ah, okay, so there's multiple holes up in the gums where the teeth come down. I get it. Tell you why it's called bloodlust. Wait. Step back, Eli. Eli and Lenore. We found other ways. Cattle blood. Steph and Salvatore out there eating squirrel asses. It's not ideal. In fact, it's disgusting. But I'm going to let you go. Brought me all this way here. Just let me go. Take him back. Put a mark on him. What did you bring me here for in the first place? Can't you just say like Conrad attacked our friend, we saved his life, and then my brother went fucking, you know, Coco Commando on him? I mean, not like your brother of the bus, but still. How'd you get out? How many did you kill? None. Well, saying they didn't just let you go. That's exactly what they did. All right, well, where is it? They napped me. I was blindfolded. I don't know. Took me. Well, you got to know something. Gave me a talking to. That outside of town. But Dean, listen, it. maybe we shouldn't go after him. Why not? I don't think they're like other vampires. I don't think they're killing people. You're joking. They're drinking cow's then ass. How do they stay alive or yeah. undead or whatever the hell they are? Cattle, Cattle mutilations. Mm -hmm. They are drinking they live them. off of animal blood. And you believed them? So was, was old boy... Was he the one with the hook that was hunting them down and cutting off heads? That makes sense. Look at me, Dean. I already forgot that was at the beginning of this episode. They let me go without a scratch. Wait, so you're saying... No, man. No way. I don't know why they let you go. 
I don't really care. We find them, we waste them. Why? What part of vampires don't you understand? How the fuck Sam? did he step outside? We kill it. End of huh? story. That's our job. No, Pro credit, that's supernatural. Not our job. Our job is hunting evil. And if these things aren't killing people, they're not evil. You don't want to tell me where it is? Fine. I'll find it myself. Damn. He popped you right in the eye, bro. And Sam just going, I mean, turn the other cheek type shit, but fuck. Gordon? You think he went after him? Probably. Dude, we have to stop him. Really? Sam, because I say we lend a hand. Just give me the benefit of the doubt, would you? You owe me that. Yeah, we'll see. I'll drive. Give me the keys. He snaked the keys. Leave this. <clears throat> fixed her up too. You just fixed her up. Now you gotta hotwire your own shit. Pain without love. So the bridge, is that, uh, is that all you got? I kind of do like the whole peaceful vampire thing. I think that's one of the things I liked about the Vampire Diaries was like they were trying to be peaceful vampires. But I do like the show was so long that we got to see everybody kind of slip into that that like primal state where it's like they needed the blood and if they got it, like it changed their whole demeanor. I enjoy it. That fucking sound they made. Oh. Oh, no wasted time to stab Lenore. Dead man's blood, bitch. In her heart, not the dead man's blood. Now she all poisoned and sickly. Who's the dead man that you got that blood from? Got a whole vial of that shit. Oh, you ain't doing too good. He been cutting you up too, keeping you just poison, poison. What's going on? Just poisoning Lenore here with some dead man's blood. She's been uh, just poisoning our old friend here with some dead man's blood, keeping her a little under the weather. You guys want to join in on some torture? Other little friends are. Huh? No. Want to help? Look, man. Grab a knife. It's just about to start in on the fingers. Oh, my man is twisted. You? The vampire that killed your sister deserved to die, but this <laughs> killed my sister. A filthy fang didn't kill my sister. Turned her? Turned her. <gasps> Made her one of them. So I hunted her down and I killed her myself. You killed your own sister? You did what? It wasn't my sister anymore. It wasn't human. I didn't blink. And neither would you. So you knew all of them. Uh, yeah, you he knew would. About the vampires. You knew they weren't killing anyone. You know about the cattle. You hunt down you your just... own sister? She's just a vampire, bro. It's not like she's a fucking uh, demon. She's still in there. Now she just can't die unless you cut her damn face off. Didn't care. Care about what? A nest of vampires suddenly acting nice? Ugh. Taking a little time up? Well, of course she's going to want your blood if you got her fucking poison. She can get strength from it. Oh, your blood's going to get into his system. <laughs> Hey! You think she's so different? That's just the reaction they have, the blood. Still want to save her? Look at her. Oh. They're all the same. Evil, bloodthirsty. She retracted. She retracted him. No. No. You hear her, Gordon? No. No. I don't want to hurt nobody, Gordon. Come on, brother. Still got the one in the chamber, by the way. Still got one in the chamber. Oh, damn, headbutt. Yeah, he's got him up against the wall. You doing this for a fang? Come on, Dean. We're on the same side here. I don't think so, you sadistic bastard. Ah, ah. You're not like your brother. You're a killer. 
like me. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Oh, got you under the leg. Sweep the leg back on top. Right hook, left hook. Throws him up against the wall. Pulls him back over, turns him around, takes a look into his eyes. Dean's got him right where he wants him. A little eye contact, a forearm blast right there to the jaw of Gordon. Now, in a side headlock. Oh, wow. Sorry. That was unnecessary. You know, that might be like, then I guess our work here is done. How you doing, Gordy? Got a tinkle yet? All right. Well, get comfy. We'll call someone in two or three days, have them come out, untie you. Ready to go, Dean? Not yet. I guess this is goodbye. Well, it's been real. It's been fun. Has been real fun. Damn. What if he just broke the chair and now he's free, idiot? Yeah. Come on, hit me. Yeah. Clock me one. Yeah, hit me. What? Come on. Get the receipt. I won't even hit you back. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go and get a freebie. Hit me. Come on. You look like you just went 12 rounds with a block of cement, Dane. <laughs> Hell, I even enjoyed it. Mm. You didn't kill them anymore. Every instinct told me to. I wasn't gonna kill her. I was gonna kill them all. Yeah, Dane, but you didn't. And that's what matters. Yeah. Because you're a pain in my ass. <laughs> Guess I might have to stick around to be a pain in the ass then. Thanks. Don't mention it. Thanks for being a pain in my ass. A little tangle. You could have had that conversation in the car to get further away from Gordon, but I get it. It's gotta be the end of the episode, right? We're about to get in the car and ride away. Oh shit, it got loud. Yep. Alright. You know what? I really, really like this episode. And I think it's because I really, really like vampires other than my internet cutting out midway through everything was great sam and dean encounter gordon a fellow demon hunter who has been systematically killing vampires in a small town i like gordon i i enjoyed i enjoyed gordon i, I thought he was a pretty interesting character uh that's cool that he's in jobu from black panther getting to see a character like that in there and i wonder if that's something that could come back to like bite them in the ass maybe with him showing up not with him showing up but with like a character like that. Holy shit, this screen's bright. Uh, Because, I mean, a fellow hunter just seems like he could just pop back up. You just got him tied up. Like, is he going to learn his lesson? Is that going to be the end of him? I hope something like that comes back. I hope he comes back around. I hope we get to see him once or two more times throughout the show. Or a bunch more. Like, if, if he could be somebody that becomes, like, an antagonist that's now hunting them for that stuff. Or maybe we get just to see a growth or something happen with him. Like, okay, maybe these things aren't as bad as I thought they were. That would be nice. That would be that'd be pretty enjoyable. So, um, man, what was I about to say? The whole vampire things. The vampires eating the cattle and those. I, I'm assuming he was the one that... that murked old girl at the beginning with the decapitation so he just sharpened his little blade i like seeing that but that does plant the seed of doubt now in their head for everything else like are these things innocent do they deserve to die like are these good creatures bad creatures like most of the vampires there didn't ask to be vampires they were just turned and the fact that gordon went and did in his own sister after she was turned that's sick, man. That's fucking sick. That's twisted. Poor dude. I'm glad Lenore got safe and her people got safe. And I guess that old guy was her little boyfriend or whatever. But uh, even her right there, like, turning down, like, she got the blood and it made her go crazy. And she's like, no, I don't, I don't want to live this life. Like, I just want to blend in and just live like everybody else. 
Sam does owe, or, you know, he has a free receipt on Dean to punch him in the face whenever he wants. That's great. I love that. I'm looking forward to it. And Dean opening up to a stranger, but not to his brother, talking about, hey, I'm not handling this well. Like, this is, I'm not handling this death well at all. Like, I'm fucking struggling. I wish he would confide in his brother that way, but there's a part of me that gets why he isn't at the moment, but hopefully we'll see Dean grow more in that regard as well. I really like this episode. I thought this episode was great. Anyways, Season 1, Episode 3 of Supernatural, entitled Bloodlust. Season 1, Episode 4, entitled Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. I agree. Anyways, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.